Welcome back, big dreamers, to another episode of Live Racing. I'm Dan Sam. This is my MR2 SW20 Time Attack build. We're trying to finish off the last little bit of fab work. Last episode, we got this guy off the jack stands and on its suspension. We really needed to find some sort of ride height geometry uh, with all this stuff. That's just a uh, fancy way of saying we needed to bolt some stuff on this guy to see where we needed to put the stuff. This is the front sub mount for the torque arms actually that are part of the front control arms there. We wanted to stick with some MR2 stuff so we went ahead and put this provision back in there after it was already cut out of this vehicle. So we really did need some of this stuff bolted in to see exactly where to, pl where to place and what to make. We also took some time to make the front radiator support. But all this stuff gave us the opportunity to add some new tricks to this kind of uh, front end here. We're going to be able to run an updated suspension in the front end here, kind of a newer MR2 kind of uh, suspension, as well as now with our uh, core support being so structurally sound, we can actually attach some of our front arrow to this guy. And it's going to be really nice uh, being able to use that tied into the actual frame rails of the vehicle. It'll really make the difference there instead of you know, just being tied into a bumper or some other uh, piece of the car that's not really tied into the chassis. So we finished welding this guy up. Doesn't look too god awful. Next up is to figure out the hood vent and where all that stuff is going to actually in lie here. We're going to have to kick that guy down to meet the bottom of the Venturi here and, uh, you know, make that, that nice little kind of hood scoopy action, you know, to vent it all right on up there. But this is all looking really good and we're going to make a few tape lines or we already have made a few tape lines. The way we can help ourselves figure that out is just by drawing a few tape lines across the hood, figuring out exactly where we want this kind of cut out to be right about here. We're going to start the cut right here and right here and then we're just going to fold and roll this guy down until it meets the contour or the angle of attack of the uh, radiator scoop that we have going on here. So let's get this guy pulled off. We're gonna have to cut some ribbing out from underneath it and uh, you know, kind of gain ourselves a little bit more uh, access here to be able to knock this guy down. Shouldn't take too long though. Really just kind of uh, fl flying some stuff out. <laughs> full of speed holes. These speed holes are from the factory. Oh look, a new speed hole has just opened up. Wind is important for speed holes. Wind is important for speed holes. Wind is important for speed holes. We want more wind. So we made more holes. More holes, more wind. More speed, hence more holes. Speed holes. We've got them. We're about ready to weld this panel back in here. I left myself kind of a healthier gap. Let's close that guy just a little bit more. 